We're moving on to item three, which is administrative items. We have the first thing, which is the review of the manifest, and the superintendent um, has asked to speak. Yeah, if I could, Madam Chair, and for the, and actually to the board. Um, and so that uh, I, I guess our, <laughs> our emails ultimately end up uh, as public documents. And as you know, I don't use the email as a substitute for Facebook. Um, but I did receive an email today that I, I think I'd like to have clar Karen clarify for the board. Okay. And it was from a board member, and, and it's in regard to the manifest. And there seems to be some confusion about what the manifest is, and I would like to correct it in the public record. And the email says, um, the final detail was that this is the first agenda I have ever seen that has review of the manifest without the manifest attached for review. We usually get our packets the latest by Friday, most of them electronically by Thursdays, which gives up to five days to review the package, including the manifest, so we can sign off on the manifest. Since the manifest comes from the superintendent's office, then the superintendent is responsible for not providing the manifest data to the board in accordance with policy BEDB. That, and then it quotes policy BEDB. I, I think it's really important since that's out there and I will not respond to emails like this through email. I just think it's not taking the high road. <clears throat> it's an inaccurate, uh, email and I'd like Karen to just remind the board how the manifest is distributed. Typically the manifest is brought to a board meeting, the cover sheet, um, once the board member has come to our office to review all of the bills. So the manifest is actually the pile of bills that we pay for the two week period prior to the board meeting. Um, that has never been included in a packet. What is included in the packet sometimes under that heading would be an expenditure report, but again, that's only included at the first meeting of the month, not the second meeting of the month. So there really was nothing missing from the packet. Madam Chair. Yes, Mr. Luskars. I'd just like to go on uh, public record to say that I'm actually the person that sent that email. And apparently from uh, Dr. Littlefield's explanation and Karen's explanation that I've made a mistake and I'd like to apologize to them for making that mistake. Um, I'm always learning, and um, so obviously I've learned something new here, which is good. Um, I was basically surprised by kind of the whole agenda on this meeting from our last- um, If you're uh, administering uh, apo uh, an apology, that's fine, but we're not getting into a discussion about surprises. Well, no, I was just- uh, You're out of order. No, I'm not out of order. You're out of order. The chair says you're out of order. Oh, okay. That's the right of the chair to say someone is out of order. If you're apologizing for a mistake, that's fine. We're not getting into a debate about the agenda. I was just going to complete an my apology thought. without a with a but is not an apology. Are you apologizing no to the superintendent and Karen? There was if no not, but. You're out of order. There was no but in my apology. We have a five minute recess.
Sarova. <laughs>